Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for JAR Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to have a looping video play behind scrolling content on a transparent background. Here's the effect. The auto-playing looping video fills the space behind the scrolling content that appears on a transparent background. The scrolling content has animations that play when you scroll down to them, and when I scroll, the background doesn't scroll with the content. There might be a few features that come to mind to accomplish this result, but how it's done might actually surprise you. Let's jump over to InDesign so I can show you the tricks, I mean techniques, that made this work. First notice that the content is actually separated into two documents. The first one is the scrolling content and the second one is the video. Let's take a look at the scrolling content first. There are three pages. Near the top of each page is an animation. Each of the pages has a fly in from left animation preset applied that's triggered on page load. Pretty simple. Here's where we start to get fancy. When I export the page, N5, export HTML5 with N5, in the basic section, I'm going to set the page format to borderless page scroll vertical so that the pages appear to be one long scrolling document. Then I'm going to go to the background section and set both the backgrounds and the page color to none. I'll go to the resources section to apply some CSS so that the scroll bar doesn't appear, but the page will still scroll. We'll put the code in the video description so you can copy it. And I'm going to go to the advanced section to turn on desktop scaling, fill width. I would note that it's possible to export this content with an animated GIF as a background image that fills the screen. We could go to the background section, select animated GIF, and set it to cover. But when you scroll, that animated GIF scrolls with it. So that's why the video is in a separate document. Although you could use an animated GIF or an image sequence instead of a video in the second document. Let's export and then go over to the video document. I'll select the video and go to N5, Interactive Widgets, Video. To set it to autoplay so that it automatically starts playing, Set it to mute, which is the workaround for browsers that restrict autoplaying video without any user interaction. Set it to loop, and make sure that the controller skin is set to none. Here's another part of the trick. I'll draw a rectangle where I want the scrolling content to go. With it selected, I'm going to go to N5 Interactive Widgets Web Content so that I can embed my local output from the other document. In the web content widget, I'll click the button with the three dots and navigate to the index.html file from that local output. But that's not all. Remember how I set the background and paper color to none in the scrolling document? Well, here's where I'm going to put that semi-transparent background. I'm going to make another rectangle the same size as the one with the embedded content. Set the fill to white, go to Object, Effects, and set the transparency to 50%. I'll need to go to Object, Arrange, and send it backwards so that it's behind the web content rectangle. We can export this document as a slider fade in document with desktop scaling fill width to make sure that it fills the sides while the browser Chrome is still showing. And there's our non scrolling, auto playing, looping video with the scrolling content on a semi-transparent background. Let us know in the comments how you might use this technique for your projects. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out In5 at in5.us. Thanks so much for watching.